it has long been established that the brain affects the gut. Mood especially is known to have great influence over the properties of the gut. An example of this is a feeling that many of us have experienced as butterflies in the stomach. This feeling can be attributed to temporary changes in the gut that result from brief feelings of anxiety or excitement. Today, however, I want to take a look at this relationship in reverse. That is, how the gut can influence the brain and subsequently our mood. However, in order to understand this relationship, we first need to understand the composition of the gut. The human gut contains a substantial population of what are known as microbiota. These microbiota are microorganisms that reside in and on the body and make up approximately 1-3% to of our entire body mass. In fact, microbiota outnumber human cells by over 10 to 1. They impact on the development and homeostasis of the body, and alterations to the composition of the microbiome can have serious implications for a number of metabolic and inflammatory diseases. It is estimated that over 100 trillion microbiota live in our gut alone. Now factors such as age, diet, lifestyle, and our immune system have all been found to affect the composition of our gut microbiota. Changes in the composition of our gut have been found to be implicit in obesity, and also found to affect the cravings we experience for certain foods, such as chocolate. Research by Alcock et al. found that microbiota are readily influenced by probiotics, which are microorganisms that are believed to produce positive health benefits. Studies on mice have found that the administration of probiotics, such as lactobacillus and bifidobacteria, resulted in reduced depressive and anxiety-like behaviours in stressed mice. According to Anadora et al, studies on humans have found that the composition of the gut is associated with cognitive impairment in patients suffering from dysfunction of the brain. Clinical studies into the use of probiotics as treatment for this condition demonstrated a decrease in anxiety and improved mental outlook in those patients treated with probiotics. Other studies involving mice have found that germ-free mice exhibit inflated stress responses an exaggerated release of corticosterone when stressed. Compared with colonized mice, it is apparent that microbial gut composition is critical to the development of appropriate stress responses later in life. Now continued research into our microbiota could potentially lead to cures for serious physical and mental illnesses and diseases. Researchers are currently making great headway with probiotics as treatments for mood disorders. However, much remains to be understood about our bacterial friends and this fascinating gut-brain relationship.